Good morning, folks. For weeks, months, the only space weather we've seen has been driven by coronal holes. But now, in the wake of the primary solar conjunction, a massive sunspot group is developing on the Earth-facing disk, driving solar flares and potentially more. We'll also have news about sun-triggered earthquakes and Earth's magnetic reversal, but we'll begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com, where the day began with an eruption off the departing limb that caught our attention. But this was merely the appetizer, that area we pointed out yesterday. Not only the large and growing sunspot, but the left side of it, the trailing side as it rotates, was to be the place to watch most. And indeed, it began flashing a few hours later, hinting at its solar flare tendencies. And this morning, we have crept up into high C-class flare range. More solar flaring is expected today as the sunspot has nearly doubled in size and now contains beta-gamma-delta magnetic mixing at the trailing portion, where the polarities interact most. This is the biggest test for the Earth-facing quiet in months, and it's got the planetary geometry behind it. Solar Watch is in effect now. Solar Wind, beginning to calm back down now from the large northern coronal hole influence, next stream not expected for a few days and we're sort of in the middle of the road in terms of our magnetic field. Karuna still showing disruptions from the above average stream. Top stories today begin with the length of the last magnetic reversal on Earth. First, a hint at confirmation of Berkeley's 100-year mark for the last one, but also with the possibility that a longer-term instability period is hiding a reversal that had its most extreme period in just 7 to 19 years. It's a huge difference from the 80 years we thought was the floor before. But even more importantly, folks, mainstream just can't help itself when it's this obvious. The sun triggers the largest quakes on the planet, and this group used a number of different solar indices and space weather events to show the energetic variation, but again, observers know that all of those are modulated by the polar fields, which we've shown time and time again to fit the initial model perfectly. It is found at spaceweathernews.com challenge, and we can now say that healthy minds ages 12 and up are capable of fully grasping this concept, and they have. So what is the USGS and Jeffrey Love waiting for? Anyway, eyes on the plains tonight as we could see tornadoes coming back into the mix, convergence off the low, driving those events. Folks, it is Saturday, so our weekly podcast will post in a few hours. Suspiciousobservers.org, click premium to get to the fly on the wall page. We've got some more pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.